Grana Weeponibong! And welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. And today on my channel, I'm coming back at you with some stuff and things I found from the four corners of the tinterweb i do this every single tuesday and saturday on this channel so if you like the sound of that why not think about giving me a like a share and a subscribe because it really does help me out and now the news don't touch that dial Kicking off today, as I like to do, talking about Fun B Studios, and they have the Master Sword Terminal for the TR Fortress Maximus. Uh, last time we saw the Master Sword itself, and now we see its terminal. And this is pretty cool. You know, it's really, really highly detailed. Bright orange, nice greys, and that sword just seems to fit in there like it was made to do so. Very, very cool. If you want to set up a, a kind of diorama for your Transformers, I highly recommend you go over and look at Fumbi Studios because what they're doing at the moment is absolutely incredible. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Last week we spoke about Zavi's collaboration and now they've actually got a really interesting sale on Transformers. So if you're looking at picking up uh, Ectotron, there's 15% off him. Blur, we've got some Buzzworthy Bumblebee stuff. We've got some Kingdom stuff. We've got some awful, awful fossilizers. Uh, we also have some Generation Select stuff. So there's a good little variety. Even 15% off a Hot Rod, which is a great little figure. And 15% off Hoff. Go pick up Hoff. The Matrix Workshop has been looking at some added accessories for your Kingdom Galvatron. So it'll come with the gun that the original G1 toy of Galvatron came with. And this is pretty cool. We'll talk more about some Galvatron toy ones later on. But this is the M60 and it looks it looks great. Um, nice little gun part. Uh, and there's also a few little added bits for your tracks as well. So that he can again look a little bit more like the G1 one. I think these are a little bit too big for my liking though. It looks okay, but yeah, a little bit, a little bit too big. Dr. Wu and Mech Fan Studios, Mechanic Studios, Vecma Studios, whatever on earth they're calling themselves this week, are combining their forces to release this pretty gorgeous looking take on RC so this will probably be a legend scale class it does look like it comes with a pretty big backpack as all RCs do uh, but yeah this looks pretty nice um, definitely one that I'll pick up interesting to see how the transformation works on this one is it going to be a parts former like most RCs but both modes here look great can't wait to see it fully painted up nice Keeping with the legend scale then, New Age Studios, New Age Toys even have shown off the boxes for their takes on Devastator. Love these boxes, love the artwork. They've also changed a couple of things uh, to make the tyre tracks uh, a little bit more purple so that when they're in combined mode, it has a little bit more of that classic look which I can really, really appreciate. And talking about the combined mode... We've also now seen the yellow take on Devastator, so it looks like we are going to get a different colour variant, and the way that New Age has been going, we're probably going to get multiple colour variants, and also probably translucent somewhere down the line. If you just look at anything they released recently, they ain't shy of doing a few different colours. Not to be outdone, Magic Square have also been showing off a few pictures of their constructor cons as well. Uh, it's quite interesting that all of these things are coming out at exactly the same time. The Magic Square ones are the ones that I'm not picking up though and um, for me there's just something about certain things with the magic square i've said it before just i've not held any of them in my hand but it looks a little bit to me like they're just made of marshmallow i don't know what it is the, the bot mode is look great but i'm not as keen on the alt mode uh, and i don't know who this lady is 
I really don't know, but this lady seems to have released quite an interesting little video. I can't pronounce, uh, unfortunately, who to give credit here to. Uh, but we see the Magic Square Constructicons driving around in the sand. Anyone who had G1 toys as a kid knows that I do not recommend this. I do not recommend that you drive your G1 figures uh, through the sand because they probably will never transform correctly again. And then this, this, this lady here then... She showed off the her, her skills and then also showed off the figures themselves i have to say in hand the figures look actually a lot better than they do in the pictures uh, certainly in the bot modes in my last video, I showed off Rung's heads, and now we can see MMC's take on Rung's alt mode here, which is, as I said, a scooter. So, really nice looking scooter, interesting colour here as well. Ah, nice, nice. One of my favourite third party figure companies is Perfect Effect and they've been showing off their latest figure or we've seen some sneak peeks of it anyway and looks like it's going to be their take on Black Arachnia and is going to come with a little comic which I've not seen from them before. Um, I don't know quite the scale or the size of this, they do, they do kind of vary with their size of their figures but this does look gorgeous. Um, I haven't quite seen the alt mode here. I don't know if it's going to turn into a, a spider or a motorbike like it looks there. But this is absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice looking figure here. Um, certainly the bot mode. Can't wait to see the alt mode of this. If anyone's got any pictures of the alt mode, please feel free to link me down in the comments. Fans Hobby showed off a few more images of their Armada Megatron uh, next to what was their take on overlord and we can see that it's going to be about the same size as overlord was really nice looking tank i'm well more excited for this than their energon take on prime if you're looking for some transformers apparel then easy t store have got you covered i don't know anything about the quality of these dudes i have not uh, ever got anything from these guys uh, so let me know down in the comments if you have and what the quality of that was like but i am blown away by just the amount of different prints that you can get here everything from a kamzik uh, to a metroplex to starscream in prison primes blasters everything really really gorgeous apparel i think there's probably all the t-shirts i want so the Transformers crossover with Jay Bavlin is coming very, very soon. And to celebrate that, there's this awesome little video going around. Uh, this kind of a stop motion animation. I really like this. I think it's very cool, especially the bit where he's doing uh, push-ups. Really shows off the, the articulation, even the old school model here. And it's coming on the 7th. 13 so that's the for those of us in england there's not 13 year months in the year now it's the 13th of july uh, the whole thing looks great together i can't wait to actually pick this dude up kingdom finally got a trailer releasing on july the 29th the trailer opened up with prime kind of sitting around and rc reaches out so this is maybe some uh, telepathic link type thing that they have we also see the nemesis smashing down into the ground and as we know this one is going to be set actually on earth not earthrise as we thought it would be and we see prime kind of looking out from the arc at what's going on while the transformers and the decepticons are parading themselves around the jungle this bit's quite good though because we actually see megatron with the matrix just like we did from the spoiler pack and he's also holding the matrix from here on in I have to say the trailer goes downhill in my opinion certainly from an animation point of view uh the animation works i think for bots but this is why we should not be trying to make the animals look like animals especially in this style of animation because oh my god this looks it just looks horrible this is bad comedy the 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 bots uh the beast wars bots within their alt modes for me just made me turn off 
So the beasts for me are not done much justice with this. Uh, let me know your thoughts on those ones down in the comments. Uh, the rest of the animation, I guess, looks just as good as the rest of it did. We do see Barney the purple dinosaur pop his head out from the shadows, uh, who looks okay because he's a purple dinosaur and looks pretty messy anyway the other alt mode here that we see that looks very bad we saw this before is the cheetah uh cheetah not looking not doing his best we see uh like a g1 laser beak having a fight here with air razor and that looks that looks dodgy yeah you know i'm just going to be honest it looks very 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 dodgy anytime i see any of the animals up on there uh, the beasts i'm not feeling it we then see prime versus prime so to fight out the ultimate battle i guess to find out if it is truck or monkey i guess that will get uh finally put to bed whoever wins that battle then we know if it's truck or monkey and then we get to the other exciting bits right at the end of the trailer where this is 100% the Ark Titan. We get to see his glowing eyes, which he doesn't have in the figure. And his also we get to see his hand moving as well. Hyped that he is going to play a part. Not as hyped that they're already kind of putting it in the trailer. I would have liked to have seen that happen. Like the Scorponok piece. I, hadn't, I didn't realise about Scorponok until we actually watched um, Earthrise, so I would have liked them to have kept that a little bit more secret. Final scenes, we get to see the ultimate team up between Galvatron and Nemesis Prime. Uh, we get to see Nemesis Prime jump through the air as well, and, and then Prime taking aim, but it's a bit of a cut, so we don't know if Prime is actually taking aim at Nemesis Prime, or if they're just trying to make it look like it is. We also see Megatron with some golden disc shenanigans going on as well. So that could be how Nemesis Prime and Galvatron make it back into Kingdom's continuity. Overall, I have to say the trailer got me semi excited, semi excited. I think the animation for the beasts, as I've said, has really killed my hype a little bit for this. I'm interested to see how the story ends. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments. I'm certainly not as excited about this one as I was for Earthrise. Um, I really hope, though, that they don't try and cram as much in on this one so it doesn't feel as rushed. But I've got a feeling they're going to make the same mistake they did with Earthrise and there's going to be a whole lot going on. Prime vs Prime has got his mitts on the new studio series take on Thrust. Yep. That's what we're going with here. Thrust. Yeah, it's not Acid Storm. It's Thrust. We're calling it Thrust now. Okay, so Thrust. He is a Conehead, so there is a slight difference uh, that you can see between this one and the Studio Series. I kind of like the way that they've created a Conehead out of this. That's interesting. Everything else for me is not ideal. Um, anyone who's watched my review on this figure knows that I really don't like this figure. It falls apart in my hands and I think actually when he's reviewing this from what I can remember also does exactly the same thing to him. This figure has multiple multiple problems. Certainly I recommend that you do not pick this bad boy up. Um, I just don't think it's worth your time. Uh, there's, there's plenty of better things out there to spend your dollars on. Speaking of things that certainly are not going to sit in my collection is this monstrosity yeah so this is wheel grim grim jack would have been better i think so this is part of the uh, the new cybertron stuff uh bumblebee cyberverse stuff where you get two figures mash them up and they create the worst looking combiner you've ever seen in your life uh the bots this and the alt modes don't look too bad i guess on their own but combine them together and yeah who hurt you so the studio 86 line has not finished yet and it looks like we're gonna get an optimus prime and it's lazy oh dear this is so so lazy and unfortunate that they've done this um the head sculpt is different i guess it's a nice head sculpt the color is different i guess but it's just so 
lazy. So I think this is what we can expect, um, certainly from the star screen. Um, I don't know if we're going to get a Megatron, but the rumors are we're going to get a star screen. He may come with some added armor, which may be worthwhile. But yeah, it looks like we're going to just get a lot of Earthrise remakes here now. <sighs> Disappointing. Speaking of recoloring War for Cybertron line figures, looks like we're going to get the toy version of Galvatron come through very, very soon. Uh, these are some leaked images that have come through. So this is the original G1 toy that it's based on. And you can see how they've based it quite nicely here. Uh, it's an interesting take. Um, I like the silver that they've put there. The knee guards look pretty good as well. It's highly detailed. The box is boring as always but for my love uh, i'm not sure if i'm ready to move past my new age toy version which i think is absolutely gorgeous i know it's at a different scale but when you put these two next to each other i know which one looks better uh, the matrix is interesting here being like fluorescent green um that's interesting uh, and you get some black guns uh, with this so you know the the revenge uh, is turned into black instead of being gray like it is with the original I think it's it's interesting um, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it I haven't picked up the, the proper Galvatron from Kingdom yet so I can't really make a judgment on whether or not he's worth picking up twice fingers crossed I'll be able to get my grubby little mitts on it soon but I hear there's some shipping issues into the UK Gotta love that Brexit. So that's everything from me on this Transformers Tuesday. Uh, if you're new around here, please think about giving me a like, a share and a subscribe because this channel has just gone past 3.33k subscribers. Wow, absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for the support. And as always, I will see you down in the comments and in my next video. I'll see you in a bit. Peace.